bar graph. Today, let's learn about data representation. Data representation is the method of representing information in terms of pictures, symbols, graphs, or numbers. The information that we collect is called data. We can reach certain conclusions on studying the data. There are different methods of data representation. One of them is bar graph. Bar graphs may be horizontal or vertical. Now, let's look at the data chart of the flowers collected. We have already represented this data using a pictograph. Now, another way of representing this data is through a bar graph. Every bar graph has one, a title which tells us what the bar graph is about. Two, both the side and the bottom of the graph have a label which tell us what kind of data is shown. Three, the scale tells us the number each block is equal to. Now, let's see how we can read this bar graph of the flower farm example. The title flowers collected tells us the bar graph is about the number of flowers collected. The labels give us the information that the data is about who collected the flowers and how many. The scale tells us how many flowers were collected. Hence, from the bar graph we can say Simi collected five flowers, Sanya collected seven flowers and Suzanne collected four flowers. Max, the mouse, ate some fruits. Let's read this bar graph. Here the title, Fruits Eaten by Max, tells us the bar graph is about the number of fruits eaten by Max, the mouse. The labels tell us that the data is about the kind and number of fruits eaten. The scale tells us the number of fruits eaten. Hence, from the bar graph we can say, Max ate two mangoes, four cherries, five apples and three oranges. From the information so obtained, we can say how many fruits Max ate in all, how many more apples he ate than mangoes and so on. Hence, we can obtain a lot of information from a bar graph too. Hope it was fun to learn about bar graph.